A tough one. He's had no luck, but as uh, Guy Kaminsky uh, was uh, pointing out last night, and uh, Chris Barnes echoed it in uh, commentary, Paul has had three opportunities to win matches at this Weber Cup and has failed to seal the deal on all three occasions. Well, he starts off with a strike. Yeah, great looking shot from the uh, left hand from just down the road. Pete was involved in that uh, real struggle with Paul Moore. Yesterday. What's he doing? He's back is the man to do right it. Here. You know, from frame, Tim could not spare that one, so it's an open frame from TUSA, and Pete Weber looks uh, distraught already. Wrong end of, of some huge scores. The man from Steinwanger. Let's see what he comes up with. Yeah, he gets a strike. Well, what do you reckon, Guy? Two Europeans competing uh, in a doubles partnership that yet to have a win between them. Are they overdue, or is the losing streak going to go on? Confidence is something that Paul Moore doesn't have a lot of at the moment. Yeah, that was a major adjustment there on that shot by Pete Weber. Threw the ball much wider on the right-hand side of the lane, got the reaction. And as Guy was saying, it's because so many right-handers have, have played on this lane that the uh, the track area is drying up. Brother Ian. John and Pat. Very, very supportive family group around Paul Moore, and a very there's 597 other people in here that are willing him to rediscover his A game as well. And that's more like it. Yeah, the crowd now, don't they? It's, uh, his compatriot. Now come back, rolling at all ten for the first time. Take him? No, he can't. He's left the sleeper. Well, there's a real chance here for the Europeans to stem this tide because both Mac and Weber are not quite dialed in at the moment. Yeah, they've both been struggling through the tournament, certainly not on their best game. Tim's just uh, telling, telling us what he thought happened there. The ball sailed on and he just made the head pin. Just like that. But spares are not what this team needs. They've had one open frame, one strike and one spare. Already 42, can Torgerson keep the 300 going? Yes, he can. Terrific shot. Cracky. Look at that. Something on the scoreboard this afternoon. The Mac needs to get a strike. That's good enough. Not the best strike Tim Mac has ever bowled, but he won't mind. As I say, not the most convincing shot in the world, but uh, clip the head pin, spin him around, and he's struggling. Ten. But he's, he's a tough character. He's got tremendous self-confidence normally, but he has been struggling this this weekend. There is no question about that. But another strike here would really do his confidence. Yeah. And there it is. Fantastic looking shot from uh, Paul Moore. Number 300 revs at 18 and a half miles an hour. Right in the one-two pocket for the left-hander. And those Good. pins are all gone. Pete needs to strike. Yeah. And does. Again, not the greatest pocket it you'll ever see, but as long as all ten go, that's all that matters. But uh, for the first time in quite a while, the Americans are being rocked back on their heels a little bit here. Yeah, uh, fortunate enough just to make their first double. Which a lot of concern on the face of the two Americans watching on just at this particular time. Six pack from the Europeans, and they're looking really strong. This is fantastic bowling, and we'll do both of these players confidence. Fantastic, uh, good. Well, that really does keep the heat on, doesn't it? And this is what they've got to do. You can't think, well, yeah, we can coast in from here because the Americans can certainly find another gear. Let's see if the strikes keep coming. Uh, the 10 is going to go, yeah. The messenger kicked it over. Well, it really had to go, didn't it? Tim was uh, bowling with so much power. The tempo was solid in the corner, but the headpin had so much power bounced onto it. 
it could only come back left to right. Watch this. Here comes the head pin. So much power that 10 pin stands, no chance. Where are you going? And it's been good to see Paul Moore bowling with some of the old swagger in this match. Let's see if he can keep swaggering down that lane, Paul. Come on, what you got? Yeah. Another great strike from Paul. This is doing his confidence so much good, and it's coming at just the right time. Just the time that the European squad needs some points on the ball. Paul Moore is coming good. Tommy Jones 300. Weber looking for four in a row. Got it. They still haven't quite shaken them off. And still 42 pins in it, but the Americans are coming back. Both got their strike lines now, and so it's uh, just a matter of hanging in there for the Europeans. Just keep it clean, nothing silly, no open frames. Yeah, they're just going to keep going. They're not going to do anything different that they have uh, haven't done before. Torgerson again looking for another 10. Oh, there's the nice to go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and down comes the pin spotter and grabs it straight away. But sometimes your luck's in, sometimes it's out. Tim Mack had an almost identical situation. And there was enough energy in that pin to tap the 10. But this time for Tora, it's going but it's not gone. Just ran out of track, didn't it? And the machine's got it. And what's gone wrong for Tore, he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Frustration indeed. That's a spare for Paul Moore to have to make. If there's one thing I've learned about this sport over the years, and a number of bowlers have said this to me, if you if you'd sit and dwell on these things, this game drives you nuts. You just have to say, well, that's the way it, that's the way it goes. Paul's got to take it out, it does. And the Europeans still have a healthy lead, but by far... Eighth frame. Slight, slight bit of pressure on Mac here. Well, it's got to be a strike. How does Mac respond with a strike? You suspected that was coming. And they know they're still around and still have a chance here. Absolutely. How close that is. Just 21 pins now. Now, you can sense a change in the atmosphere in this place. This arena just got collectively nervous. Anything less, and this gets too close to call. That's a terrific response. Oh, that was big. A definite moose-type shot there from Tori Torgerson. It would be the biggest Strike. shot that Pete Webber's going to play in this tournament at this particular time. Five strikes in a row, and it's frame number nine. And this to... Uh, oh, dear, oh, oh, dear. That's uh, good night. We don't want to say anything about that way, do we? Pete doesn't want us to, that's for sure. Well, they were hanging on. They'd given themselves a glimmer of hope, but that we'll hope has been up. extinguished. He's got to bowl it really, really fine and light on that corner pin. There you see, he did try for it. He took three. Unfortunately, everyone's standing, and that is an open frame in frame number nine. And I think that's uh, good night, Mississippi, for the Americans. They've had to wait until Sunday afternoon to pick up their first victory of the 2008 Weber Cup. Finally, it's coming. And Paul Moore, you have to say, has bowled beautifully. As has Tora. But the question marks were about Paul Moore, as Guy Kaminsky said. Paul's come up with some answers this afternoon. Just what was needed. But before we get too excited, you know who's up next for the Americans? Mr. Perfect, Tommy Jones. Just the kind of man to come in and puncture your tyre for you. And he's played, both Europeans have played really well. And look at this, another 10 in the pit. Well bowled, Paul Moore. Well bowled, Tom Torgerson. Well, wasn't that a tremendous morale booster for the boys in blue? Tora Torgerson and Paul Moore, who couldn't buy a break in this year's Weber Cup, have stepped up big time. Americans unfortunately just going through the motions. 